Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I have a poem for you called If by Rudyard Kipling. And I had a quick story to tell you about it before I uh, speak the poem. When I was in high school, I was in a Latin class and the teacher there used to m make us memorize a portion of this poem. And when things got rough in class, she would, she would take her ruler and she would wave it in the air and she would recite part of the poem, If, by Rudyard Kipling. <laughs> so keeping that in mind, she was a pretty cool lady. She taught me a lot of Latin. <laughs> and, and right before she was going to Italy, she, she taught us all uh, uh, Italian for a couple of weeks just to get ready. <laughs> we didn't learn much Italian, but we learned a lot of Latin. So, If, by Rudyard Kipling. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. If you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowance for their doubting too. If you can wait and not be tired by waiting, or being lied about, don't deal in lies, or being hated, don't give way to hating, and yet don't look too good nor talk too wise. If you can dream and not make dreams your master, if you can think and not make thoughts your aim, if you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two impostors just the same, if you can bear to hear the truth you've spoken, twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools, or watch the things you gave your life to broken, and stoop and build them up with worn-out tools. If you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it on one turn of pitch and toss and lose and start again at your beginnings and never breathe a word about your loss. If you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your turn long after they are gone. And so hold on when there is nothing in you except the will which says to them, hold on. If you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue or walk with kings nor lose the common touch. If neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you if all men count with you, but none too much. If you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run, yours is the earth and everything that's in it. And which is more? You'll be a man, my son.